Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode two of the Live to Create podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for um, all the feedback from episode one of the new start of season two here on the podcast. And I am hoping to, you know, start this podcast, get this back up and running, and hopefully transform a lot of more lives out there, whether you guys are listening to it on Apple, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. I'm recording it now as well, and hopefully this quality is a little bit better than what you saw in the last episode. Um, I do have my Sony A7S III plugged in for this one, and hopefully everything's synced up. But in this podcast, we are going to be diving into taking care of your health and building a strong support system and why that is so important for us as um, creative entrepreneurs of why taking care of your body, um, taking care of you know your health in general and why having a good circle around you, having a support system um, to help, help you through those times. And we kind of talked about it last time. And what kind of sparked the topic for this video was my son got sick um, two to three days ago, he caught the, caught the flu or caught a cold, something pretty minor, um, since he's all better now. But while he got sick, I'm like, oh man, I gotta, gotta take care of him, all that. And we co-sleep. So he sleeps in the same bed as us. And inevitably, guess what? I got sick as well, just from laying right next to him. Typically I, I never get sick year round, maybe like once Every other year I get sick. I don't remember the last time I was sick, maybe around COVID. Um, but it's been a while since I actually had to take some time off of work, stay home, work from home, and not be able to drive into the office. And unfortunately, I was sick all day yesterday um, and just had to take a sick day from home because I needed to take care of myself, take care of my body, uh, make sure I could get better before I could come back into the office and you know, be present for for the team, for my clients, and just to, you know, just to show up. But as I was home, you know, laying in bed, just chilling, I'm trying to get better. I was on my phone, checking my emails, and things just started to pile up. One thing after another, a client started responding, you know, asking for, you know, progress on a production, and maybe four or five different tasks started to pile up. And I'm like, of course, out of all the days, it just happened to be, you know, this one day that I was, I was sick. So I'm like, I can't imagine just being sick like this multiple times a year because I, you know, neglected taking care of my health and neglected taking care of my, my body and, you know, all of that. So that's what, you know, sparked the topic for this video for, for you guys out there who might need some motivation to take care of your yourself first. If you if you can't take care of yourself, you know, you're not able to fill up everybody else's cup. You have to make sure you're able to take care of yourself mentally, physically, um, all of that so you can show up to become a better leader, show up to be a better father, a better husband, um, show up for your clients as a better agency owner. If you're sick all the time by, you know, eating like shit, you know, not working out, not moving your body, not taking your, you know, daily vitamins or whatever you need to be to be optimal, then at one point you're going to start neglecting it and it's all going to catch up to you and you're going to be sick for a few days, maybe even a few weeks, you might catch some illness or catch some other bad shit that you should not be catching because, because you didn't stay on top of your health. So what I do every day uh, before, before getting sick is I make sure I, number one, try to move, try to work out, whatever that looks like. That could be out on the golf course for a couple hours. That could be going to the driving range. That could be playing some pickup basketball. That could be doing a strength workout in the gym. Something for at least 30 to 60 minutes, even more if you can, if you have the time to get out and actually get physically active. That's going to be very crucial because if you're you know, chilling at home all day, sitting on a computer editing, our posture is going to get all fucked up. We're going to get all these other issues that are going to arise from just being able, being, being like stagnant and not moving. So my biggest tip for you guys is to, if you guys don't already, try to be a little bit more active tomorrow than you guys are or have been in the past by scheduling a 30-minute workout going on a morning walk, getting some steps in, um, going on a family walk in the afternoon, whatever it looks like to get a little bit more moving and phys physically active than you guys are right now, I would highly suggest it. Um, taking your vitamins, what 
I personally do every single morning as a routine is I take my vitamin C, vitamin D, my zinc, magnesium. I have terrible allergies and I don't want to take any, you know, over the counter stuff. So I do a quercetin, quercetin fetosome, and it definitely helps my allergies along with the other vitamins I mentioned. And after being sick yesterday, I'm like, all right, I need to, I need to take whatever I can to get the shit, <laughs> get rid of this shit. So I uh, went on did my whole little research. I ended up picking up some elderberry, elderberry um, tincture drops. And then I picked up, so actually it was elderberry capsules. And I picked up oil of oregano, or I picked up oil of oregano tincture drops. So after 24 hours, I think I feel about 80% better. I was able to show up today. Um, yesterday, I couldn't really couldn't really do much other than respond to a couple emails. If that, I had to postpone my creative mastermind coaching call until this morning. And it was just a huge reality check. Um, so I know this is nothing creative related, but it is very important. One of the most important pillars of our life. If we can't take care of our health, take care of our body, we won't be able to take care of our business, take care of our families. So as much as you guys want to grind 24 seven or work, 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 all that's going to catch up to you. Um, we talked about on the mastermind call today, Richard brought up that he couldn't remember the last time he, uh, you know, took a vacation or took some time off of work to um, do something outside of work. So for you guys, if you guys aren't doing anything outside of work, work becomes work and the passion is going to uh, be gone for why we actually started this business in the first place. We all had a huge passion for the creative side. 99% of you guys started because of that. We picked up a camera. We knew this is what we love. Now making money from it is just, you know, an add on. But as we get so swamped in on the day to day and working in the business, we start to lose time on what matters most. We start to lose passion for what we're actually doing because now it's just work. So try to find some time to either take a day off, go do something outside of work, um, take a family vacation, do a staycation, whatever it is to just unplug and just rejuvenate yourself, I think is going to be very crucial to get your creative juices flowing again um, and just come back stronger as a business owner. And before we dive into the support system side, I actually had a quick little plug I wanted to drop for all you guys who are tuning in. I am rebranding the Creative Business Lab. I am turning it into a new digital course that I have been putting a lot, a lot of hours into the last couple of months. And I am almost done filming it. And guess what? We are going to be launching it in November. There will be an early bird special for the whole month of November, Black Friday, Cyber Monday special. This is created specifically for agency owners, creative business owners who are making, let's say, 5 to 10K a month. You guys are currently plateaued right now and capped out where you guys are at. And you want, you want to learn more systems, learn more lead generation ideas of how to get more leads, scale your business, have a better team around you guys to support you. And this is everything that I learned the last seven and a half years and i am putting together in one big course for a very affordable price so stay tuned for that uh, moving on to support system what why this is so crucial you know laying in bed yesterday i'm like i am so thankful to have family that supports me having a wife who is willing to you know bring me my vitamins, bring me, you know, cut up fruit, whatever I need in order for me to feel better and feel like myself again. Um, and I think that just goes hand in hand with anything that we do, having support in our personal life and our business, whatever it is, find someone that you can lean in on, lean on when you need it most. Another thing that kind of came up yesterday was luckily I have a good relationship with all of my family. And my dad actually went out of his way to um, door dash me dinner for the night. He sent me a Vietnamese soup called pho. I know a lot of you guys have probably had it, but he, you know, swears by how, how it could just cure a cold by, you know, the beef broth and all that. So he sent me two bowls for lunch and dinner and just fortunate enough to have that relationship with my father who is still around have a good relationship with him. He's, you know, spending time out of his day while he's working to, you know, send me food and just kind of 
shows how much he cares for me in in that way. I think growing up in my household, we never really had, you know, words of affirmations or said I love you or any of that. It was more or less all in the gestures and in the act and in what they actually did, which was, you know, cooking food or making sure we're all good, making sure we had what we need without saying, you know, I love you. So I think I am very fortunate to have a strong strong relationship with my family, my parents, um, and all of that. So that just kind of fueled me up to get back to work today this morning to know I had this support system, knew that I woke up feeling a, a lot better because I took care of myself and I just wasn't eating junk food all day yesterday and I just needed to sleep, made sure that I took care of my sleep, took care of my vitamins, I ate well, took care of my body, and in return, I'm feeling you know, a lot, lot better today. So this morning, what today kind of looked like was got into the office around 9, 9 15 a.m., had to get ready for a 10 a.m. coaching call for, you know, the mastermind group. This is coaching call number two. And before that, I had a lot of emails to kind of follow up with for pre-production for all these new brands coming up for Q4 and making sure all the scripts are on point for our UGC production or top of funnel ad production, um, social campaigns, all of that. And from there, we had that coaching call and typically it's a one hour call, but I always go over because there's typically a lot of good questions. There's a lot of good energy flowing. And we were on for, I think, close to two hours for this call. Um, a lot of good questions were being asked. Everybody was helping each other out. And this specific week, we dove into understanding who your ideal client avatar is. I think that's something I, I talk a lot about in the mastermind at the very beginning, because it's very crucial to know who we're who our ideal client is. If we're not niche down and we don't know who this, who our niche or ideal client is, then we're going to be speaking to the masses. We're going to be very generic in our brand messaging. And in return, we're going to be speaking to nobody. Um, you hear all the time, the riches are, riches are in the niches. So the more you can niche down, the more you can hone in on who your ideal client avatar is, what that person looks like, what do they do for fun? What are the pain points in their, in their business? You know, what kind of problems are they trying to solve in the business and how could that alleviate the stress in their business if they were to solve those issues. So that was um, the action item for everybody in the mastermind today. But yeah, I just wanted to film a podcast. Um, I had some stuff on my mind that I wanted to talk about. And today it, it decided to be around health and wellness, having a support system and just kind of quick plug in the Creative Business Lab course that will be dropping in a few weeks here in November. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm building out the landing page right now. It looks so, so good. And I can't wait to help thousands of you guys out there transform your business. I know there's so much content out there right now on YouTube on how to become a better creative, how to shoot better, how to edit better, all of that. And then of course I have the higher ticket items, which is a mastermind, which is, you know, 1750. And for some of you guys right now, that might be out of reach. So I'm like, how could I help more people deliver all the information I need, but make it very affordable. And that's exactly what we're doing with the creative business lab. So stay tuned for that. And before we sign off, I wanted to do a quick giveaway. Whether you guys are listening to the Live to Create podcast on Spotify or Apple or watching it on YouTube, I am giving away one free bold proposal template. That one's valued at almost 200 bucks, and I use that every single day in my business. This is how I close most of my deals by setting out a professional template, professional pitch deck in order to showcase our agency information, showcase our packages in a very, very you know, high end way, have a structured mood board, and it just helps, you know, make that great first impression. I'm giving away one free bold pr proposal template. All you have to do, screenshot image of you guys listening to this podcast on your phone, or take a picture of it if you guys are on YouTube, post it on Instagram, tag me with one little takeaway that you guys got from this episode. And I will be choosing one winner by the time the next episode drops, which will be next week. So, that will be it. Don't forget to do that. If you guys want to get your hands on the free bold proposal template and I will be tuning in next time. See you guys in the next one.